actually in Portugal. There you go, eight years to the day and we're back in Portugal. So thank you first for entertaining the whole crowd both here and on TV today. Amazing race to watch. Give us a brief outline. Firstly, it's great to be back doing some marathons. I've missed it. It's, it's so nice to be able to come back and, and race with race against Renata and, and give, it, give everyone a good race to watch. Um, the start was, was good and I think that that put me in a good position at the beginning of the race and then it was just about getting on a wash and <laughs> getting away. <laughs> and the three of you work, look pretty even in terms of share of the work and each time somebody led, what, what are you thinking when you're leading like that? Are you, are you just seeing what the other people have got? Are you measuring their abilities? Your Porter Gym was clearly the better of the three. That was going to play effect. What, what's the thought process? When I'm leading, I want to be as comfortable as possible. I want to be as efficient as possible and, and put, put in my work. But then also when I'm on the wash, trying to get as much energy back as I can. Um, I love portaging. It's my favorite part of the race. So to me, it was just about making it as clean as possible and not stuffing it up. <laughs> and not stuffing it up is the primary goal on those porches. We saw on the first one you came in, you still had Chicali from Italy with you. One little stumble from her and it was race over. On the last portage you saw with Van der Kisley, a little bit slow getting out of the boat and for her, again, race over. The margins are so fine. How do you deal with that in terms of stress and the way you're thinking? I don't tend to think about what everyone else is doing. I think the main thing is to focus on what I've got to do. And if I can do my portage clean, then that's the main thing. I mean, it is highly likely that someone is going to make a mistake. So as I say, just focusing on what I can do, then yeah. Fantastic stuff. And second here, is the result going to be the same in South Africa in a few weeks time? We'll have to wait and see, but <laughs> if I've got anything to do with it, <laughs> no. <laughs> Congratulations, it's really good fun watching you. It's lovely to see you back. We need people like you back in the marathon and it's been a real pleasure watching you today. Thank you. Thank you. And it's been a pleasure to watch. Did it pan out exactly how you wanted it to today? Yeah, it was fantastic, especially here in my country. It was unbelievable with this, with this crowd, uh, most of them from my town, Vila do Cun, and I'm really, really happy to, to be here and get to five uh, title, uh, European title. So, Busto, I catch you. <laughs> Fifth title, and you've made this event your own now. You had one attempt at a break after one of the portages. You came in really hard, I think, about the sixth portage, and you didn't quite make it stick. Was that a disappointment, or did you just accept that? Yeah, I have to test myself. Uh, I didn't do. Uh, I didn't know what my body could do because I was trying to relax the first laps. So I tried to test it uh, and see what happened. And I didn't believe that I could run away because we are. There were a few good guys in the back, and for sure they will. They, they will work together to catch me. So I, it was a test for me and for the other guys. And then round the final turn, you still had the, all the big players with you. Who did you fear the most coming into the finishing straight? Everyone, everyone. <laughs> they, are, they are really good. So, so we see on the short race, um, Borus and uh, Quentin Urban on the sprint. It was really good to see. So uh, there, anyone could, could have won. Uh, lucky me, I was in the front. I think you'll enjoy re-watching the video of that final straight. It was very interesting stuff happening behind you. You could tell from the tension among the other guys at the end. There wasn't happiness all round, but you held it well and you finished. Ever in doubt down the last straight? What? I didn't understand. Did you ever doubt that you would win once you were within a minute of the end? No, after, in the last 200 meters, uh, I believe myself and I... Uh, I uh, I wasn't sure, but uh, I believed that I could win the race. I was feeling good and, and it was perfect. And now moving to South Africa in a couple of months' time. It's the big one. South Africans come in. McGregor, what are you going to do with him? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, everybody will be there. It's a different race, it's another year. Uh, things are different now. Uh, I train a little bit different. Uh, we, after the last World Championship, I spoke with my, my coach and we tried to, to do something different. And I think we, we're getting the results now. I, for one, am really looking forward to the next contest. I loved watching you today. Thanks so much for the entertainment. Proper crowd, Prisa. Romalo! <laughs>